we're inside Pompeii, and here you can see the volcano. One of the richest important commercial city. Probably the richest one on the south part of Italy. And we know it was a rich city by the famous public building we have, we found inside, and the houses. This is the gladiator gym. This is the theater. There you are in the right place where the voice is like amplified, like there is a project. Because it's not like now, during Roman times, they didn't have speakers. Look at this theater, look how big it is. Look at the plaster on the walls, still here. So Pompeii originated in the 6th or 7th century. The eruption happened in 79 AD, so this is really old. It's awesome. One of the most preserved Roman cities. So we're talking 6th and 7th century BC, before Christ. These are the chariot stones. Yeah, these were all little shops. These are the volcanic pebbles. Volcanic ash or dust killed the people. They asphyxiated. So our guide said that the lava didn't actually reach Pompeii. Instead, they were killed by the smoke and the volcanic eruption created this cloud of smoke and they suffocated. Now we go inside one of the traditional Roman houses, complete with an atrium. The frescoes on the walls still remain. This is the summer part of the house. And then the interior was the winter part. She's a Roman town, no? But it was made from an Italian population which we used to call Oshi, 500 years before Christ. This means uh, these people went here near Pompeii, they was living together with the Greek, mm. because in the Bay of Naples we had the Greek people first. Uh, they had a lot of influence from them, technique of construction, styles, how to build a house how to make a stage or temples. In Italy, when you see a Roman statue, it's a copy from the Greek archaic style. It's like hieroglyphics. This is the pizza oven in the bakery. This is where they made bread. Pizza oven. So about 20,000 people lived in Pompeii, and this is the main street. Thousands of them buried alive. Now, this is the spa. With the marble is from Carrera. Is important from shells. All the rest of the colors important from plants and the flowers. But when you see the blue color, to me like uh, the blue. To make the blue color, they used to break the turquoise stone. The lapis turquoise. For this, when we see the turquoise, when you see the blue, means rich people in the house. Ooh. And we found the blue here to give atmosphere over the sea with the dolphins, and all the chapel was decorated with the stars to give atmosphere over the sky. These reliefs. You can see all the carvings. Wow, the steam baths. Thousands of people buried alive by the volcanic ash. People died. After 1,700 years, the body decomposed. When they start to dig it, they found an empty space with a skeleton inside, <coughs> made by the decomposition of the body. When they found this empty space, they stopped to work and they put the two holes on the higher part of an empty space. From one hole, they inject inside a liquid plaster. They fill up the empty space until the chalk getting out from the other hole. They wait three, four days, one week until it becomes solid. 
they take off the hash very carefully from around and they found the plastic at the model over the last position of her life. This lady was pregnant. Oh, yeah. See? Really? And she was a slave because she wore a belt. Oh, yeah. We have so many bodies all around. You're gonna see that one in so many different <laughs> shapes of objects. Because it was the symbol for a good luck too. the floor it was a very complicated this watch. <laughs> huh? yeah, lots of traffic. Look at the sun made by the This is made of marble. It indicated that they were rich. The rest of them were made out of boxlet. of Pompeii were living the good life here. They had saunas, spas, massages, brothels. Living the good life, unless you were a slave. Look, you can see how close Vesuvius was, looming in the distance. Skylights. So in the night they would reflect the moon and people could see where they were going. This is the boathouse. So this was a port city. We were very close to the water and the Roman ships would come here. They'd spend a few months here and it was kind of like a little vacation spot for them. Here and uh, the seacoast line probably was around this up, not very far away like now. They traveling all on the south Mediterranean Mar and people from south they came here. It was a big chaotic town, like uh, Cairo, New York, a city of 24 hours. We had the big explosion of Volcano Vesuvius. It was uh, the 24th of August, around the 7 in the night. Big explosion, three intensive day of eruption. But Pompeii is very far away from the volcano Vesuvius. When we go inside, you're gonna see the volcano is on that direction. But during the eruption, the wind was blowing from north to south. And all this town went buried, went to cover up from a littering of a volcanic ash and the lapin stones. Like uh, 20, 30 feet of these materials. The people died because they went so forgetted from the gas. And the little lapilli stones burn up everything, covered the town. If somebody survived from the tragedy, when they back here after a couple of weeks, they didn't find Pompeii. They found only this big hill of volcanic materials. They left from this area. Time after time, they forgot about Pompeii. The new vegetation was burned on and then nobody knew under this area was a Roman city. Only after 1,700 years, a famous king of Naples, exactly in the 1742, discovered the ruins, Carlo di Borbone, Charles Borbone. In the 1744, they start to dig. In the 1800, they open Pompeii to the church. Grazie, Naples. Ciao. See the islands off the coast. We hope that you enjoyed this tour of Pompeii. It truly is one of the most fascinating archaeological sites in the world. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.